Hello there, everybody. Welcome to another great video game ideas and that use video GVG and you for short. As always, I'm Andre, and it's a pleasure to be able to share my thoughts with you. I say that extremely quickly because I'm extremely excited about the announcement that I just saw on Google Plus like two minutes ago. There will be a sequel to this beautiful ass game right here. I know my case, my box right here looks a little colored up. My kids kind of got their hands on it. I was really agitated about that. But there is a sequel to Project Cross Zone officially announced. I remember hearing them talking about it, but it is officially happening. It is officially a thing. So, I'm looking forward to it. And I'm going to get it and play it. Enjoy the hell out of it, even though I want to have gripes with it, because this game, the story, is put together in the worst way. <laughs> it's a good game, but the story is just like, it's like they just tacked the characters together in the story. Like, Tron knows about X and Zero, like she like knows who they are, and um, <laughs> friggin', she knows about the... Uh, Mm. I'm trying to think of their name. Um, crap. The two female Android characters. I can't remember what game they're from. I know it's a Sega game, but I can't. I can't, I can't remember. The, or is it? No, it's not a Sega game. It was um. Uh, Bando, ba ah, Bando, Bandai Namco game. It was um. I think it was Xeno Saga. I think it was Xeno Saga. Um. But yeah, the the characters that should not have known about each other at all because they didn't do any sort of like dimensional sort of uh, traveling or any or time travel or stuff like that before knew who they who knew who the other characters were. And that just kind of threw, it was like, that, that doesn't make sense. How the hell would Tron Bond know who the hell Zero and X are? How would she know who they are? She wouldn't have any idea of who they are because in her point in time in the Mega Man series, they're long gone and have not existed for a long amount, of, uh, a huge amount of time. I mean, I can understand her seeing some similarities between X and, and Mega Man Volnet or Rockman Volnet. That would make sense. But for her to know who they are and to know what, what a Reploid is, I'm like, whoa. No. It's the way they put the game together is if... um. Like, the Versus series games are all, like, canologically linked. And that irritated the hell out of me. But the gameplay was awesome. The combos that you could set up were awesome. And <clears throat> the RPG elements, though, it wasn't... It, really, it was It's an RPG, but it wasn't really, like, a, a heavy RPG with, like, a lot of elemental weaknesses and different weaknesses to certain things. It was still pretty good. I would like to see them incorporate a lot more of that stuff for the, the next game. Hopefully they do. Um, but uh, the difference with Project Cross Zone 2 is that I think Capcom is going to be the uh, producer behind it instead of Bandai, Na Band ah. Ah, Bandai Namco. <laughs> uh, which is which is fine. As long as they still let Monoliths off due to development, I don't care. And it's and from what I'm looking at, it looks like it's that I'm hoping that's what they're doing. But um, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be the next one. The next one's coming out on 3ds, and I am so super hyped for this. I'm going to put the link down in the description for you guys. Go ahead and check it out. Otherwise, enjoy your games. Peace out. Be happy.